and welcome to today's lesson, Adding Integer Rules. So we are going to be adding integers by following the algorithm. And our rules for adding are if you have the same sign, you are going to add the digits and keep the sign. If you have different signs, you're going to find the difference. And difference means the answer to a subtraction problem. Let's look a little clo more closely at these rules by doing an example with same sign. So here we have negative 3 plus negative 2. They're both negative. They have the same sign. So we know that we are going to be adding the digits, 3 plus 2, and that gives us 5. And then we are going to be keeping the sign. So here, because the sign is negative, the answer will be negative. So negative 3 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Let's do an example this time with different signs. We know that different signs means we're going to be subtracting. So here we have negative 4 plus positive 1. This is negative, this is positive, so we have different signs. Our first step in different signs is to subtract our digits. So we are going to pretend like there are no signs on these numbers and just subtract them like normal. So we're going to write the numbers, no signs, and that's going to default to be positive, which is what we're most familiar with. So 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. And now we need to know what type of sign to put on that. So we're going to find that out by taking the sign of the higher absolute value. So we have to find the absolute value for both negative 4 from the original problem and 1 from the original problem. I know that negative 4 is a distance from 0 of 4, and, and positive 1 is a distance from 0 of 1. So because 4 is a higher absolute value, and it came from this negative 4 here, my answer will also be negative. So negative 4 plus positive 1 equals negative 3. We're going to try another example, and this is one that confuses people often. I'm going to show you how it is very simple, the same as the other problem. We are going to rearrange the order if needed when we get to subtract digits. So this time I'm going to say 9 minus 2. I just want to find out um, what the difference between them are, what's the distance between them, um, so I can move the order around. That's not typical for order of operations, but this just makes this part subtracting a little easier. So when I subtract them, I get 7. And now I need to find what type of sign goes on the answer. So I know my answer is either going to be positive 7 or negative 7. So I'm going to find the absolute value from the original numbers in the problem. The absolute value of 2, I'm sorry, negative 2 is 2. And the absolute value of 9 is 9. So because 9 has a higher absolute value and in the problem it's a positive number, my answer will be positive as well. So negative 2 plus 9 is equal to positive 7. So just a quick recap, we know that when we have same signs, we're going to add the digits and keep the sign. And if we have different signs, we are going to subtract the digits and take the sign of the higher absolute value. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time.